Hey everyone, I wanted to come on real quick and share something with you in case you missed it on the website because this is a little bit time sensitive. So if you guys, whether you watch the inauguration or not, um, there's one thing that's been going pretty viral um, on social media and that is the Bernie Sanders meme. Um, and this is one thing that I love about our um, creative team here at Stalls is that they are so quick to jump on some of these really popular trends. And what we've recently come out with, and that's why I'm jump jumping on with you here now, is the Bernie Sanders mittens pattern, right? So if you guys haven't seen this yet, um, go online. It's a really popular trend. The meme is literally viral everywhere. Um, so we have launched a pattern um, of the Bernie Sanders mittens. And I'm like cracking up at this because I think it's so funny. Um, so I just wanted to show you a really quick tutorial on how these patterns work. Um, a lot of people are doing apparel that is Bernie Sanders related because of how viral this meme is. Um, so this is just going to help you kind of um, fall into that pop culture type of custom apparel. So really just here to bring you inspiration with this pattern. I already have my design cut out. A little bit about the pattern. It is a 20 inch roll. You can get it anywhere from a yard to um, 10 yards, all right? So however much you plan on cutting. I created something really quick in CADWORKS Live just to be able to show you the pattern um if you guys aren't fans of this color so this is the color that i went with because this is the exact color uh way that is in the actual mittens um that bernie sanders is wearing so um that's why i stuck with this color but if you guys aren't a fan of this color you can actually customize these colors to be whatever color that you want if you wanted it to be um, blue, white, uh, gray, anything like that, you can actually go in and customize this to be a different color. I wanted to mimic the look of Bernie Sanders mittens um, as close as possible. So that's why I went with this colorway. All right, so let me go ahead and grab my leader and we can go ahead and get started with our um, project with this pattern. So like I mentioned, I created this artwork in CADWORKS Live. Just something quick and simple so that I could just show you guys how the pattern looks when it's all cut out. All right, so this is the pattern so far. This is going to be the base of our artwork here. And then I'm also going to be pairing Ultra Weed with it. Um, anytime I'm working with patterns, I always want to make sure that I'm using a contrast color. Um, that's one of the just of the that's one of those just best practices um, that we recommend for working with patterns is selecting a contrast color that is not going to get like lost in the design. So this is actual Bernie here. I sourced this SVG online. They're literally trending everywhere. It's not find, hard to find one. Um, I believe this one costs like a dollar. Um, and it gives you a full color option or a single color option. So I selected that single color option and it is already ready for me to go to vinyl cut, All right? So I use the Cricut to cut this out just so that we could find something fairly quickly that I could make a quick turn on. And when it comes to um, doing popular memes and anything that's like really trending on social media, the faster, the better. So that's why I love heat transfer vinyl because it can be such a quick turn if customers are coming and requesting this artwork be created for them for a t-shirt. Again, this product that I'm pairing with the Bernie Mittens pattern that has already been weeded out is CAD Cut Ultra Weed. For the most part, although there is a little bit of intricacy in this design, the Ultra Weed is super easy to weed. So those pieces are coming out fairly quickly. And this is a layered piece right here. So nothing else left to weed out other than the text. 
right? So the patterns are just gonna drop right on top of there. And if you guys are interested, what I can do is actually share the cut file that I created from the SVG that I purchased in CADWorks Live so that you guys can recreate this yourself. Go ahead and comment in and let me know. Thank you, Rena. She says she's impressed with my weeding skills. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, this thing is a lifesaver for weeding. Uh, but if you guys are interested in this design, I can go ahead and for a short period of time, just drop that into CADWorks so it's an easy grab for you in the template section. All right, so our ultra weed is um, completely weeded out. Our patterns is weeded out. Again, this is the Bernie Sanders mittens pattern. It is new on the website. I will show you really quickly where you can find it. So let me share my screen with you. Uh, you can see here, uh, right here, now available, Bernie's Mittens CAD Cut Pattern. You can select Shop Now, and it'll take you directly to that pattern. And it will uh, generate what it's going to look like and what color is uh, what color options that you have. So once I select the Bernie's Mittens, that's going to generate up here so I can see exactly what that pattern looks like what all colors are being added for this colorway, other popular colorways that you can choose if you do not like these colors, um, or you can go in and select your own colors as I've already mentioned earlier. So if I wanted to change any of these colors in and out, I do have the ability to do that, all right? So super easy ordering process. You'll just select after that what heat transfer vinyl type you want the patterns to be done in. Okay, next we have our masking. So once we have weeded out our patterns, we're just going to mask that really quickly. I just go center out and then I grab my squeegee and then I'm just gonna push out all of the air bubbles. And this is going to help me release the patterns from the backing that they're laminated to so that you can cut and weed. And now what we're doing is transferring that over to the masking so that we can get this adhesive exposed. All right, so the masking process, it's just an added process, um, but it really, it's not very time consuming. Unless you have like really small intricate pieces. So another best practice would just be not to do too much intricacy with the patterns. All right, so I'm just gonna trim this up a little bit and then I'm gonna template this together. Now I haven't seen um, many designs created with this that shows the actual patterned mittens. Okay, um, it's just like a full color graphic, not necessarily a pattern. So if you guys use this and recreate this for your customers, it's just added value for you because there's not much like this happening out there. So this turned out really cool. I'm really excited to heat apply this and show you guys the finished result. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer to the heat press here so that you guys can see that application. I'm actually going to record this application on my phone as well so that I can share this on our Instagram later. So I'm going to set that up real quick. All right. So the first application I'm going to do is the ultra weed. Okay. So we have Bernie and the man, the myth, the mittens. That is going to help me line up everything else moving forward. So I'm going to drop this a little bit further down from the collar because this is ultimately the top piece of my design. And I don't want to get that too close to the collar. So I'm just going to template this one more time and see if it falls. There we go. Yep, that's a good placement. And I am just putting this on a Bella canvas. It's one of their street fleece sponge fleece hoodies. Um, and it is a cotton poly blend, right? So 
their street fleece is really, really popular. I see it a lot whenever people are doing pop culture type custom apparel. So really excited that I had this laying around for this particular design. And I think that this color looks really good with this pattern. All right, so I'm just going to lock my A to Z down just for a few seconds. Ultraweed has that tack method capability so that whenever I go to line this up and layer my patterns on here, it's not going to cause any shrinking or anything like that. I don't know if you guys have experienced that in the past, um, but hold on. I don't know if you guys have experienced any shrinking of material when you're doing mixed media designs like this or layering where maybe the contour doesn't line up accurately because of the shrinking. So if you guys use that tacking method, that will eliminate that from happening substantially. All right, so I'm just gonna drop that down now. And since this covers my entire ultra weed design and I won't risk any marks from the Mylar carrier, creating any score marks, I can just lock this down for the full application at this point. I'm going to try to get you guys a little bit closer for the peel of this so that you guys can see that. All right. All right, so I can go ahead and peel my pattern. And I just love the dimension that is in the pattern, even though it is a matte product you can really see that it almost takes on a textured effect. All right, so let me put my laptop down one more time. And I'll hold up the finished result for you. All right, so there you have it. We have our Bernie Sanders, the man, the myth, the mittens. We have the pattern mittens in there. We have this on a street fleece hoodie, which is really, really popular. So if you guys are not working uh, with patterns yet, now is no better time uh, because this is really, really popular. And that's why I wanted to hop on with you guys today and um, show you that so that you could take advantage of this now. So one more time on the website um, where you can order, it's right on our homepage. So if you just go to stalls.com, it will be in our top banner, right? So now available, Bernie's Mittens CAD Cut Pattern. Just select Shop Now. It will take you directly to the Patterns Generator where you can select that pattern. Once again, um, I did create this design just in CADWorks Live. If you guys aren't in CADWorks Live yet, um, I definitely urge you to get on there. It's free. All you need is an email and a password. I'll drop this design in the templates so that you guys can use this uh, with that pattern if you guys are interested in uh, being able to heat print this and sell it to your customers. All right, so before I head off of here for this just really quick announcement, I wanna make sure that I am answering any of your questions that may have come in. All right, so Jerry asks what temp. I am at 300 degrees for both of these applications. So although UltraWeed does apply at 260 degrees, our patterns applies at 300. So anytime I'm working with two materials um, and one of them has a higher temp, I always go with that higher temp application instruction. Uh, it's not going to hurt the UltraWeed at all, but both of those products did apply at 300 degrees. All right, those patterns are incredible. Will the Bernie design be in the same area? The Bernie design is going to be on CADWorks Live um, and the patterns are going to be in the patterns generator on stalls.com. So you can just access CADWorks Live. I'm going to put the link in the comments now so that you guys can just head over there. And if you don't have an account yet, um, you guys can just enter a password and set your account up and it'll be right in that template section. I'm glad you're laughing with me, Jan. When I saw this, I started cracking up. I think this is great. Um, yes, the design will be available. 
All right. So it looks like I answered all the questions that came in. Uh, Kenny says I need info on how to heat press on a 100% poly layer. Uh, Kenny, best recommendation um, would be to head to Stalls TV and um, to our YouTube channel and check out how to heat apply on 100% polyester. We have a ton of tutorials and videos on how you can heat apply on that. All right. So thank you guys so much for jumping on with me. It was great to just come on and just do a quick announcement and tutorial. Be sure to grab your patterns and take advantage of this trend. I'll see you guys next time.